So I've got a ton of resources. I've been doing this since 2005. Wow. I've got guides, cheat sheets, checklists, explanations, day-by-day -day study plans that are especially popular to remove all the ambiguity about what to do. And then I also have courses and the courses have become incredibly popular, especially recently because of COVID. So I've moved everything that was in person, moved it online. I've got on-demand videos. I've got live online classes and Q and A's. And I've also got group coaching, which I haven't seen anybody else doing. So I really try to create, I, I try to create like a community of students where it's not just going through problems. We're handling the bigger questions behind the questions to help you keep moving forward. And I'm not the only one giving the answers. I actually invite other students to teach each other because you learn a lot by teaching and by hearing multiple, per multiple perspectives. So it's really a supportive environment to keep you accountable, to keep you moving forward and to keep you moving past any roadblocks that could come up along the way. That's awesome. Where can people find your resource? Yeah, sure. So I've got the LSAT blog, the LSAT Unplugged YouTube channel and podcast, as well as a Facebook group and Instagram. And I'll send you links to all of those if you want to include them in the description. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.